Evening, Clive. Cheer up. Any sign of fear, though? Nah, but you know what? I've had it up to here, Cyril. Why's that, Clive? Well, he's a bit obsessive, isn't he? How's that, then? He'll be off getting some big idea or other, and then he'll shoot her back, and who do you think has got to carry out his grandiose plan? Us. Us! Exactly, Cyril! Remember that pyramid scheme he got us into? What a shambles! Pyramids everywhere! And did we get a cent? I'm beginning to regret this unpaid internship, Clive. Ah, oh, me too, Cyril. Hang about. When did we get a new sphinx? Hold the phone. Who are you? <laughs> What, I, I just talk into here? Is this thing on? I'm moving with the times to bring you the Daily Bugle live stream, a webcast hosted by me, J. Jonah Jameson. Don't be fooled by the term webcast. I've not gone pro Spider-Man. Web as in interweb or something. Enough techno babble. Prepare to be informed. Super villain activity across the globe has increased dramatically in the last few hours. The Avengers have assured the world's media this is just run-of-the-mill villainy. Nothing they can't handle. And it's in no way connected with earlier reports of a strange disturbance detected on the far side of the galaxy. Ha! Like you can trust anyone who wears a mask in tights. Right, now get out of here. I got a paper to run too, you know. So, there's a new donut of a supervillain running around my city in thigh boots calling himself Kang. Who is this clown? I never heard of him. Those other newly arrived space cowboys, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy? Well, they seem to be clueless, too. Given one of them is a talking tree, what do you expect? That raccoon thing did say Kang has an overinflated opinion of himself and a huge sword-shaped spaceship. Kang also claims to have transported Manhattan to his personal battle arena called Chronopolis. Moved Manhattan? It was perfectly fine where it was. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, this Chronopolis is apparently made up from the greatest realms across time and space. The Avengers are currently investigating these claims of Kang, and if it's possible, to leave Manhattan. Yes, new goon on the block, Kang, claims to have stolen Manhattan and added it to other regions he has conquered from across time and space. This new time city, or Chronopolis, has Kang's citadel at its center and is said to exist out of time. Kang also claims our escape from the Big Apple is currently impossible. But my sources tell me some of Earth's supervillains have been seen exiting Manhattan. The nefarious claw as a case in point. The sonic scoundrel's been spotted heading out of Manhattan into, well, who knows where. Note to self, trademark name Chronopolis. Could be a money spinner. Just when you thought it couldn't get any odder around here, with knights' kingdoms and jungles being our new neighboring districts, I can exclusively reveal a new dark side to Chronopolis. A twisted, tyrannical, totalitarian Hydra version of our beloved Manhattan. How and when this happened, who can say? All J. Jonah Jameson knows is this corrupted, Hydra-run Big Apple is collaborating with Kang. Any friend of Kang, though, faces a red, white, and blue pasting from a real New Yorker, who also happens to be an Avenger. Captain America! who, along with Black Panther, is hot on the heels of Claw and the stolen Wakandan vibranium as they press on to the Hydra airship for answers. <laughs> Hydra still use airships? Yeah, balloons are real scary. Nexus destroyed by Kang. Helped by the Avengers, my sources tell me. Sure, they didn't know they were helping Kang, but that's not the point, people. Because the heroes beat the Guardian of the Nexus Man thing, Kang was able to blast it into fragments, enabling him to bring Chronopolis into a single time zone. 
That's good news and bad news. The good news is we can now get out of Manhattan and see if the rest of Chronopolis has a decent golf course. The bad news is now every creep in Chronopolis can get into our city and slug it out with each other to see who's worthy of facing Kang. Okay, Avengers, you broke it, so what are you going to do to fix it? Hmm. Seems they've sent a team to the Old West to secure a power source to help boost a strange beyond Chronopolis signal of some kind. As you can hear, Kang's Chronopolis has descended into a mad melee. It looks like it's curtains for us for sure. Our one sliver of hope is a plan to get into Kang's central citadel and take him down. <laughs> Sources tell me Wasp has secured contact with an ally on the distant nowhere. That's a giant head of a celestial for those of you not paying attention. <laughs> Don't get too excited, though, as the offer of help has come from a dawn. That's how desperate the Avengers are, folks. Cosmic canines aside, this spacehead could contain enough energy or tech or magic beans to put a dent in the defenses of that citadel. What our so-called heroes need are a pair of sharp eyes to find the fragments of the Nexus they had a hand in shattering. Just when you thought things couldn't get any strange around here, our city's heroes have come up with the most harebrained idea to defeat Kang this reporter has ever heard. It involves the help of Cosmo the Space Dog and the planet Nowhere, an ancient head of a giant space being on the other side of the galaxy. Tony Stark is convinced that there must be something on Nowhere able to bring down Kang's defenses. But to get it into Chronopolis, our heroes will need to find the shattered fragments of the Nexus, then have Doctor Strange stitch them back together. He needs some book full of magic mumbo-jumbo to help him. Why isn't he conjuring up a decent cup of joe, huh? New York is running out of coffee, people. So, with the help of the superior eyes of Heimdall, the heroes now know where all the pieces of the Nexus are. They just need to get them to Doctor Strange so he can work his magic and nowhere can be brought to Chronopolis. One of the fragments is somewhere in Kung Lung, the mystic and strange land where it's all oh, meditation and yak's milk and Iron Fist. Iron Fist? I remember that guy. He'll help the heroes get into Kung Lung and get their fragment. If they can help him take out Kingpin, who set himself up in the New York of the Roaring Twenties. Okay, so who's helping Fisty? Spider-Man? You gotta be kidding me! Iron Fist, a man of his word, now joins the practically useless Spider-Man to show him how a real hero does things. That webhead couldn't punch his way out of a paper bag! Ha! Ah, no! Oh, I wish I had an Iron Fist. Anyway, he'd better have all his chi and both fists ready to retrieve the Nexus Fragment from the Cave of the Dragon. Unless that's an ironic name, I don't think it's gonna have kittens in it. Oh, I think I might have broken this. New York may be the greatest city on Earth, but here in Chronopolis, it's got competition. With yet another New York! This other Big Apple is rotten to the core. Some future neon nightmare where the city is run by a mega corporation. Alchemax. As if it wasn't bad enough having them as neighbors, turns out they've got their own Spider-Man, too. And you can bet your bottom dollar there'll be alternate versions of all those costume criminals that follow in Spider-Man's wake. The sooner the team get the fragment of the Nexus back to Doctor Strange, the safer I'll feel. Not that I'm scared, of course. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yes. News never sleeps, so neither do I. And neither does the task of collecting the shattered Nexus. Heimdall has spotted a shard in the Kree sector of Chronopolis. Hala! So who better to tackle a mission against extraterrestrial oddballs than the Guardians of the Galaxy? They may have shown up late, and one of them is a glorified branch, but you gotta respect their can-do attitude. Who knows? Maybe the Kree creeps won't realize they're in possession of the fragment and let Gamora and the guys in and out without too much trouble. Ah, well, a guy can dream, can he? Oh. Uh, welcome.
welcome back to another Triple J live stream. It seems that those Cree, the Guardians, went after our work alone. <coughs> the source informed me the Cree made a deal with another Kang Stooge, an inhuman commonly known as Maximus the Mad. Ha! If I don't get out of Chronopolis soon, Maximus the Mad will have Jonah the Furious on his case. Let me tell you, Maximus has helped the Cree invade the inhuman city of Atalanta so he can take over the throne of Black Bolt, his own brother. In response, Black Bolt has assembled his family members to free the city and take back his throne. My source told me it was difficult for Black Bolt to rally the royals with a rousing speech due to the ludicrously destructive power of his voice. But with a few frowns and mimes, they soon got the message. Still with me? Good. Picking up again with Black Bolt and the Inhumans. You'll remember their mission to secure their beloved Atalan and restore Black Bolt as ruler. The guy with the second most powerful voice around here after yours truly. Well, after their triumph over Maximus the Mad, the Atalan royals have turned their attention to the Kree, taking the fight to the Halla sector of Canopolis. The potent and silent Black Bolt is ready to make a stink all over those Kree. Did I read that already? Didn't those Guardians of the Galaxy try to take on those Kree creeps earlier? <laughs> guardians? <laughs> More like goofballs. Anyway, let's hope they haven't made things worse. Things are looking bad. And I mean down to my last bagel bad. But if these heroes are this city's best shot at stopping Kang, then so be it. Let's try and get a little team spirit going here. Show them how it's done, Captain America. Make it for the water city of Lemuria, where Heimdall has spotted another Nexus fragment. Captain's team have encountered a dark, ominous tunnel. Surely they aren't falling into a trap. I mean, Heimdall has those amazing eyes, yeah? If they're walking into a trap, he'll be able to warn them, right? Well, maybe he needs to get his eyes checked, because I'll put money on our heroes ending up somewhere they don't want to be. I'll keep talking as long as there's someone left to listen. Still on the trail of the Nexus Fragments. Haven't they found them all yet? Our heroes hope it's second time lucky getting into Lemuria. This time they're out for payback, and the Hulk is just the game changer they need. That green guy will wipe the grin off of Tuma's fishy face. Things are looking up for the heroes. But if they retrieve all the fragments and bring nowhere to Chronopolis, what then? Will the head of a giant celestial actually be of use in a fight with the megalomaniac Kang? Iron Man thinks it will. What does that genius know? He seems to think allowing Spider-Man to stay part of the team is okay. Well, it ain't! This is the only news that matters. As it may be the only news left in Manhattan. Kang! I have it on good authority that Thor is taking the hunt for Nexus fragments to the ancient Egyptian area of Chronopolis. The Pharaoh there has no love for Kang, it seems and is allowing our heroes access to the tomb and the fragment inside. For those of you who have been living under a rock in the Old West, these fragments of the Nexus, when combined, will be able to help in the battle against Kang. This Pharaoh fellow seems like a stand-up guy. I'm a very good judge of character, and I think the heroes will have no trouble completing their mission. Strap yourselves in for a news update so big, so enormous, the only word to describe it is planet-sized. Okay, so that's two words, Susumi. Finally, the heroes have done something right for once and have reassembled the shattered fragments of the Nexus to open a portal in time and space. Why? Why, you ask? Well, where have you been, living in Lemuria? The Avengers and co are bringing the moon-sized nowhere here. That's why they'd have done it all a lot sooner if they'd fetched Spider-Man and his grandstanding. Hank Pym, with his supersized brain, thinks there's got to be assets on board capable of bringing down the shield protecting Kang Citadel. Just drop the thing on it, I say. Wait, but if they mess this up, that giant space skull thing could flatten half this city! I've got good news for you. The plan to bring in nowhere from who knows where was successful. Admittedly, Kang got wind of the plan at the last minute and tried to send a different head-shaped planet through the portal. But that didn't deter the heroes. Ahem. Despite certain naysayers around here, the good guys have found there was a use for nowhere. Finally, we can get rid of this bozo. This could be it. 
I can't believe I'm saying this. After all the mistakes they've made, but... Good luck, heroes! Yeah, even Spider-Man. I'm J. Jonah Jameson, and this is it! The big one! The mother... No, no, the grandmother of all showdowns! It's taken a lot for us to get here, but finally, Kang is on the back foot as the assembled heroes take the fight to his front door! Kang said he wanted to face worthy opponents. Well, now he's got them. By the bucket full. Let's hope they get it done quick and return Manhattan to what passes for normal. One thing's for sure when they do, I'm taking a day off. What am I saying? A day off? Okay, maybe half a day. Uh, tell you what, I'll sleep in a little and come in late. But go get them, guys! 